Hey guys, hope everybody's been doing well and today's a big, big, big day. Uh, a little bit later, 10 a.m., Sony's gonna launch the a7 IV or is today the launch day or was it yesterday? And where I'm going with this guy's big story at the Sony Alpha Rumors site where Sony and Chelsea, who has a very large, if not the largest YouTube photography channel, dropped their video, the a7 IV, for a day early. Now, if you don't know, camera manufacturers like Sony, Canon, and really everybody, they will give their pre-release uh, cameras to these big influencers, if you wanna call them, to be reviewed. So on launch day, right at launch day, they can release it. So they sign a, a NDA, a non-disclosure agreement, and those vary between manufacturers and companies, you know, what are the penalties and whatnot. And so everything's hush hush. They can't talk about it. They can't show it on, on film. But Tony over at Tony and Chelsea, I assume it's Tony because he, do, he does all the video stuff. He dropped it a day early. Now this, this video was removed and someone put it on Venmo or Venmo or whatever that other video hosting site is. And I tried to find it and they had a link over at the Sony Rumor site and it was taken down as well. So I can't really watch the video, but from the sounds of it, and the pictures that they have here, it seems like it was their legit review and it just got posted a day early. Now, if you guys do YouTube, a lot of you probably don't, you don't publish anything on YouTube, but you can set a calendar of publishing. So you can do the, the video, you can upload it, get everything ready and say, okay, I want it on this day at this time and then it goes public. So. I wanna talk about this. Now, not really the camera. The camera's been talked about in the rumor site. I've been doing a little bit of videos on it, but people have been talking about this camera. And um, I will be doing a video on this camera after the release. I do have to work today, so after work, I will be uh, giving you my thoughts, but it really isn't much different than my original thoughts. I think it's gonna be a great camera. Uh, if you're getting to a Sony full frame, I, it's got a lot of upgrades from the Sony a7 III but is it worth the price tag? This thing is, per this video, uh, Tony's video, it's gonna be a manufactured selling uh, uh, price of like $26.99. I think that's what I read somewhere. Or it says $25.99, so $2,600. I think that's a little high. Not that it's not worth it, but it's not gonna make the splash like the A7 III. There are cameras that do similar things, uh, for even lower that have been out there a year. So we'll talk about this camera once it's officially released, but all the specs are kind of in alignment. 4K, 60, some down sampling, sampling of uh, 7K, the 33 megapixel, and so on. So um, again, we'll talk about the camera later. Today, since it hasn't been officially released yet, I wanna talk about this video. Now, I'm a fan of Tony and Chelsea. I don't even think I'm a subscriber anymore because I like a lot of the smaller YouTubes. And, and I will put a, um, maybe I'll do a separate video on my favorite uh, photography YouTube channels, but I do watch their videos from time to time. And I really think they give you an unbiased opinion, uh, unlike a lot of these other smaller YouTube channels. And not that these guys are trying to mislead you, it's just they're trying to be in good grace of the manufacturer. So if Sony's sending me a camera, to be honest with you, I wouldn't think I'm much different than some of these other guys. I'd love to be flown to Vegas in, and hopefully the rain's not coming up too bad, but it's coming down like crazy over here. But yeah, I'd love to be flown to Vegas. I'd love to you know, be taken out and, and, and given a camera for X amount of time to do what I want and publish videos so I can make a little bit of sweet YouTube revenue, right? But it does taint you a little bit. I had a manufacturer, the only thing that I've ever received on YouTube was this mount. It's a, um, I'll show you uh, actually, I still have it and use it right there. It's just an, an adjustable, I don't know, it's got like a, a bunch of like rubber bands you tighten and you can move this around. I got this as the only thing I've ever, ever received from anyone to say, hey, do a review, do your honest review, you don't owe me anything. And that was for an Amazon review, not a YouTube review. And I did the review and afterwards, I almost felt a little dirty to be honest with you because even though it was my own opinion and, and I liked it, I still like the product. As you can see, I, I, I still use it. I think this is like, I don't know, eight years later and I still use it all the time. I think it's really cool. But 
to be honest, I was tainted. So where Tony and Chelsea, they don't really have that vibe to me anyway. I, I think they're big enough where they buy their own gear. I don't think they take any gear from manufacturers and they're wealthy enough to just kind of use it, write it off as a business expense. When I say write it off, it's part of their operating cost. Not that they're, you know, damaging or, you know, getting a camera for $4,000 and you don't pay for it. That's not how write-offs work, but you don't have to pay tax. It goes off your taxable income. So essentially you're getting, depending on your tax bracket, anywhere 20, 30% off on the camera. Um, so that said, I, I don't think um, um, they're dishonest people, but I do think Tony likes to, I don't know, ruffle feathers, put his name out in maybe some controversy to get some attention. So I, I'm kind of torn on this one. I'd love to hear what you guys think. <clears throat> I mean, he's done similar, not, not exactly the same. He never broke NDAs, not to my knowledge before. Um, but, you know, I, I wouldn't be surprised if Tony did something carelessly or uh, maybe deliberately just to get his name out there, have everybody talk about him. You know, it's just like what the Kardashians, right? Um, Unfortunate things led to multi-billion with a B um, of revenue between all of all of the Kardashians and their incomes and everything and and their companies that they started. So um, it, it depends on if you take advantage and how you come out of that bad uh, situation. And Tony's, like I said, dipped his toe in the water on some of these, um, you know events or I'm trying to think I mean he he kind of talked about one of these famous photographers and um, uh, there's been a couple other times in the past I, I don't have the exact moments on the top of my head but I'm wondering did he do this as a a intent to get his name out there or did it just a an easy mistake the way you publish videos I'd love to hear your guys's thoughts around that so um, you know, there's, there's a lot of talk over there about, you know, on different people's camera, um, YouTube channels that I, I like to review and read and comment myself. And there's a few people that have said, you know, with the NDA, they'll, they'll just drop them. And it's like NDAs don't work that way. You know, I, I've signed a lot of NDAs for the company I work at, and it really depends on your position. So if Sony sent me a camera it may have all kinds of lawsuits, penalties, fines, you know, monetarial value fines of tens of thousands of dollars. But they might not give that to Tony and Chelsea. I commented over on what someone's video and said, Sony needs Chelsea and Tony more than Tony and Chelsea needs Sony. And, and people had commented about, no, 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 they're a multi-billion dollar company. Why would they need them? Well, no, of course they don't need them for Sony's success, but they do need them for the success, successful launch of the A7 IV in future cameras. I mean, Sony's been tapping into the influencer um, thing for a while, and, and that's really helped them. Yes, they have good cameras and all that stuff, but make no mistake about it. The influencer thing has made a huge leap in, in Sony's uh, gain on the camera market. So Sony's not a, or Tony's not a stupid man. He's not going to sign something that's going to put him at a disadvantage, especially when he don't need them. He can just go buy one, review it. And, and I don't think that would change his subscription rate at all. So what's your guys' take? One is, do you think this was deliberate and one of Tony's schemes to try to get into the press? And two, who do you think they need more? Do you think it's Sony needs Tony and Chelsea? Or do you think Tony and Chelsea needs Sony for the you know camera arrangement? So love to hear what you guys think. And, and again, today is the official launch of the A7 IV, supposedly at 10 o'clock a.m. Eastern Standard Time. It will be announced, but no big surprises, guys. It looks like it'll have the flip screen, uh, the, <clears throat> the 33 megapixel, the A7 7s but new a7s body with the heat sink so going to be a great camera um I, I think that tony did comment and again i wish i was be able i'd be able to see his video but supposedly his his review in a nutshell was good camera but if you had an a7 III 
and not really the, the worth the upgrade of the $2,600. That said, Tony's not a big video guy. Um, um, I'm more of like aligning with Tony's video needs, shooting some YouTube, some family. I want something that gets out of the way and does good stabilization. I'd love to uh, be able to see that. Hopefully they repost it. But want to know your guys' comments on those two things. One is, did he leak this on purpose or was it an accident? And two, um, who needs who more, Sony or Tony and Chelsea? Thanks guys for watching and uh, tune in later for my official take on the A7 IV. And thanks again for watching. Take care.